Today we'll be learning how to set up our APA paper in the correct format in Microsoft Word. Double click the top of your page, select different first page, and then we want to go ahead and change our font to Times New Roman in 12. We're going to make a running head, running is capitalized, head is not, and then we want the title of our paper in all caps. We tab over to the right and we're going to insert on our current position a plain number. We double click to exit our header and then we're resetting our font again to Times New Roman in 12. We want double spacing and then we want to center this for our title page. Tab down about four times and we're going to go ahead and start typing in our title of our paper and then our name as well as the institution that we attend. Then I'm going to enter again and I am going to insert a page break. Now that we're on the next page, we're going to go ahead and reset our header, double click in. Uh, this time around we're just going to have the title of our paper in all caps and don't forget to add in your page number. Double click out and we're still centered so we want the title of the paper in standard capitalization. Uh, when we go into the next line, we want to reset our paragraph for first line and dense. At this point, we're going to go ahead and start typing our paper. Uh, a couple things to remember when you're writing your paper, make sure you do remember to do your in-text citations. If you ever have questions about those, you can either go and check out Al Purdue, which is a really great resource. They have some really great style guides. Or if you just have a question that you want to ask the library, you can contact us via email or chat or just stop by to see us. We love when students stop by. We're going to go ahead and go to the next line, do another page break so we can start our references page. So we're going to go ahead and switch this over to hanging indent. That way we won't mess it up when we center this to type in references. It would be slightly askew if we had it first line. So then we're going to go to the next line. We're going to set our alignment to the left and we're going to go ahead and start typing in our citations. Please remember to always put your citations in order by the author's last name. And please don't forget to also include all your index citations in your references page. If you, It's very easy to forget to do so. I oftentimes recommend just going ahead and creating your references page before you even start your paper or as you're going along. It's way easier than having to sit down and do it at the end when you forgot everything. If you happen to need any further help, please don't hesitate to contact us at the library or again refer to those style guides that I had mentioned earlier at Al Purdue.